Hey guys, it's me again. Um, I just thought I would share this with you since I, um, what happens is that I order a grounding, an auxiliary grounding set or kit from Amazon to put it on my Humvee. But I ordered this thing like three and a half weeks ago and I still haven't got it. And I already got my box. I got it today too. I got my TS, TSU brand new. And I got my box. It's brand spanking new. So I'm kind of in a hurry to get this thing running. I'm anxious actually. So I went to Home Depot and bought me some wire. So I'm gonna make my own. This, okay, this is all copper. 100% copper on it. So what I did, and I bought some of these ends for it. You can see, okay, and I crimped them. See, the coolest thing about it is that I went to uh, Harbor Freight and it bought me this thing. It's a hydraulic crimper. Let me show you. This is badass, I tell you. First time I ever used one too. What you do is just put it in between those things and you press it, you press it down like that. Right now it's locked. So you gotta do it like this. You go up. And look what happens to it. Look at that. That will never come off again. So this is the wire I'm gonna be using to uh, put the auxiliary uh, ground on it. And this is what I use to crimp it. It only cost me, I think it was like 69, I think it is. And um, I get like discounts because I have a membership, I guess, a year membership, something we call it. And it comes with all kinds of dies, look. See this? Different sizes of cable you can crimp. It's got another set here. Thicker ones, thinner ones. It goes up to zero, it says. Zero size, which is, it will be this one here then. Yeah. But it's cool. I mean, it's not the fanciest one. It's not a snap-on. <laughs> you can't afford a snap-on anyway. But it's, uh, that's the brand. Okay. Comes in a little case and shit. See? Instructions and it comes with some uh, oil ring seals for it, I guess, in case it goes bad. And, um, anyway, I'm making the ground wire right now. I end up with doing like this. I'm gonna sh I'm making uh, a small video of how I got an idea how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run this end from the uh, negative ground up to the block. And then from there, I'm gonna run it to the dash ground for all the lights and the gauges. And from there, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna make a small one that goes from the uh, back of the dash where the grounds, all the uh, gauges to the box, to that box. And then I'm gonna make a smaller one, maybe like a six, maybe eight inches long one for the uh, generator alternator. And that's it, you, that's all you need anyway, because uh, that's all you need really. So I already cleaned my, I already cleaned my ends, my grounds. I took this box out and I grind it. So the new one, the, the one I'm making is gonna be on the other side of the body, underneath between the chassis and the body. And I'm gonna run it underneath to probably um, this one here. And I'm gonna run it this way, all the back. And you see those wires over there? Let me show you right now. Let me go around. Let's see, see, uh, I want to hook it up in that where those two ends are on the right side, the two ground ones. And this is one of the cables for, from the harness that goes behind on the dash with the little bolt, like this one, like this one. It goes inside of the dash, right through the dash, right where the box, the glow plot box is at. And it goes into this, 
and this two here. So I'm just gonna run it through from that end, let it hang this way somewhere, and this way, and plug into this one. And then run a little short one into the box, which is right here, you know, somewhere in here. Right there, I just cleaned that up already. So I wanted to coming out through the wall through here with the little one this way. Boom, drop into the box and ground that wire. And the next one will be this one, which I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna replace this one. Maybe I'll just leave it, but I'll just make, I'll make another one just the same length and hook it up to that and to the uh, alternator. And hopefully that's enough ground, I think. So I will make a video when I'm done and show you how it was done. I know they sell kits, with, like the one I ordered, that has uh, five, six different wires they hook up. And I don't think that's, that's too much of a mess. So I'm just gonna run one wire all the way across from this, underneath, to this, and to where I told you, all the way this way behind it, up, up, and into that point, and hook up that wire you just show you with the dash, ground, and then run this way into the box. And that's it. I mean, that should be okay because it's coming directly from the from the battery negative. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll shoot a video of how it looks when I'm done, okay? But I just want to show you that tool, man. It's pretty cool. It's not expensive. And as you can see, I already tested it. It does a real good job on these things. It's crazy. This is another thing I'm gonna be using. Let me show you. See this thing here? It's all copper, 100% copper. That's what you want. So what I wanna do is, I'm just gonna put it right here, right there. And I'm gonna run that new wire I got through here. I'm gonna peel a little bit off of it and bite it with this screw. You know what I mean? And then just run it all the way back there. And I'll put a, and I'll use this little ear things to hook it up. So yeah, I bought small ones and large ones. They're like five bucks for like three of them, I think, or two. I think it's three. They got different sizes. This one I'm gonna have to do, make it a little bigger. Just a little bigger, the hole to plug it in. But this ones are perfect for the ones for the uh, back of the dash and the box. The diameter of the hole is just perfect for those things. So um, that's it. I mean, I was not gonna wait for the kit to get here. So I already got everything. So I got the box, like I said, and I got the, uh, this you brand new, so let's see what happens if it starts after all this work I'm done. So anyway, that's it. Uh, comments, opinions, let me know. I know it's not the most expensive tool, but it does a real good job, as you can see. Look at that thing. Look at the back of it. It bites it really nice. There's no way that sucker's gonna come out. Okay, thanks, and uh, see you next time.